ISIS wants its followers inside the United States to target American troops. The terror group has put out a hit list threatening 100 American military members. As David Martin reports, Pentagon officials are moving quickly to protect the people on that list. It amounts to an ISIS hit list, urging its followers and sympathizers in the U.S. to kill American servicemen who are identified with names, photos, and addresses. Pentagon officials say the list appears to be drawn from public sources, everything from newspaper interviews to Facebook pages, connecting them sometimes incorrectly to the war against ISIS. Right or wrong, it's a threat. This is very disconcerting, obviously, uh, to the families, the specific families that were identified in this, uh, in this release, but more broadly across the armed services, to know that those who uh, engage in, in social media, that that information uh, now can be corrupted and, and used by a terrorist organization. ISIS is defenseless against American airstrikes, which by last count have killed more than 8,500 fighters and struck more than 5,300 targets. But it is fighting back by using social media to threaten U.S. military personnel at their home bases. Well, I think this is exactly the kind of tactics that we are starting to see uh, increase, not only here, but in other parts of the world, where uh, these Islamic extremist terrorist elements are looking to different so-called soft targets. There are about 180 Americans who are known supporters of ISIS, but no way of telling how many other radicals might be inspired to act by this hit list. Senior National Security Analyst Juan Zarate joins us now over the phone. Juan, what steps is the Pentagon taking to make sure our military members are safe? Meg, uh, as you heard David report, the military and Pentagon uh, trying to do everything possible to protect the individuals uh, who have been named as well as to uh, notify their families. And so the, the bases have been notified, the individuals have been notified, local law enforcement where these individuals live have been notified uh, to increase patrols. Uh, they've also been warned just to, uh, to be careful and to watch uh, and to be vigilant in terms of their surroundings, uh, including what they do on social media. And then obviously uh, YouTube has been asked to take the list down, which they have. So I think everything uh, that can be done is being done. The challenge, of course, is that uh, with social media and with potential adherence in the United States, there's a real danger that uh, individuals may be inspired to try to uh, target these 100 uh, military personnel who've been named. Hey, Juan, does this tactic by ISIS surprise you? I mean, this wouldn't be the first time that the group has used social media to try and inspire such attacks. No, but it doesn't surprise me. And in fact, uh, keep in mind that al-Qaeda for some time has been trying to inspire uh, individuals around the world to attack in place. Uh, al-Qaeda, keep in mind, has put out hit lists to include the, the cartoonists that were killed in Paris during the Charlie Hebdo attacks. Uh, and ISIS, in many ways, has followed suit. Um, in December of last year, the FBI had put out a warning uh, to military personnel uh, to scrub and to be very careful about what they're putting out on social media for precisely these reasons. They were watching that uh, ISIS and other groups were beginning to troll for information and trying to use this very means uh, to, uh, to threaten and to, to uh, demonstrate their, their reach and, frankly, to, just to terrorize. And uh, we're seeing evidence of that. Juan, we heard in David Martin's piece that there are about 180 known supporters of ISIS in the United States. Are officials worried there could be more? They are. Uh, the FBI is always worried about what they don't know. And uh, you've heard uh, Director Comey from the FBI talk about investigations in all 50 states of individuals or uh, cells that may be sympathetic to ISIS. Uh, and, of course, we've got the problem of potential foreign fighters, individuals who've traveled to Syria or Iraq and who've come back uh, to the United States. And so certainly the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, and American counterterrorism officials are worried about what we don't know and certainly that there may be sympathizers, even if it's just a couple hundred, who could be motivated to attack in place and could take their direction from what ISIS or an al-Qaeda branch may be putting out online. Juan Zarate, thanks so much, Juan.